What you see on your screen right now is a fairly typical uh, cable television set-top box and a sound bar. Hi, welcome to our channel all about home electronics. Where in this video, we're going to show you how to connect your cable TV set-top box to a sound bar that has ARC inputs and outputs using an HDMI cable like this right here. Now if you're not already a subscriber to this channel, please hit the free subscription button located at the bottom right of your video. This way anytime we publish new tips in the future, you'll automatically be notified. We're going to get started right after this. Now what you're looking at is the back of the cable TV set-top box and the back connections on the back of your sound bar. We're going to connect the HDMI output from the cable set-top box to one of these HDMI inputs on the back of the sound bar. When you're making this connection, we're recommending that you use an HDMI cable that is rated as high speed. Oftentimes the word high speed is printed on the outside of the wire, but that's not always the case. The reason for a high-speed HDMI cable, if you have an expectation of viewing 4K uh, ultra-high definition HDR content, then you need to make sure that the HDMI cable is high speed. Otherwise, typically any HDMI cable will do. So we want to line it up and plug one end into the output from the back of the cable TV box. Now, in our example soundbar, there are a total of three HDMI ports. One is labeled uh, HDMI out ARC. ARC stands for audio return channel. Now, if we want to utilize ARC, you definitely want to use a high-speed connection when connecting to this port. We're going to connect the other end of that wire to HDMI in number one. Now we're going to make the second HDMI cable connection and in this case on our example soundbar we're going to connect the HDMI out which happens to be an ARC enabled port using a high speed rated HDMI cable. On the back of our example TV, we only show one HDMI port and it too is ARC enabled, audio return channel, and we're going to plug the other end of that high speed HDMI cable into this port here. Now take your cable box TV remote and turn your cable box on. Next, take your sound bar remote and turn it on and switch the input to HDMI 1. If you see a message similar to this, you simply need to change the input on your TV. So you want to take your TV remote, locate the input button, and toggle your inputs until you get to HDMI. By taking all those steps, whatever audio comes out of this, whether it's a TV program or simply music, it's going to play through your soundbar. If you have any other comments about how to connect your cable box to a soundbar, post them in the comments below. This wraps up the video of how to connect your cable TV set-top box to a soundbar. We appreciate you watching the channel. Check out some of our other videos. Like the video if it helped you or you enjoyed it. Otherwise, have a great day.